in this video, magbibigay na ako ng iba't ibang techniques for integration. So, sisimulan natin yung discussion ng techniques sa trigonometric integrals, product of sine and cosine. Okay? So, tandaan natin yung identities na to. So, sine A plus B plus sine A minus B that is equal to 2 sine A cosine B. Okay? The next, cosine A plus B plus cosine A minus B, that is 2 cosine A cosine B. And 3, for number 3, cosine A minus B minus cosine A plus B, that is 2 sine A sine B. Mas maganda kung kabisado nyo yung identity na to. Okay? So, kapag nakita natin or na-encounter natin yung ganitong part na magkadikit yung sine tsaka cosine o kaya naman cosine cosine or sine sine, pwede natin siyang palitan as ganito. Okay? So, proceed tayo sa example. Okay, so for number 1, let's find the integral of sine 2x cosine 3x dx. Okay, so dito magkatabi yung sine tsaka cosine. So, gagamitin natin yung una. Magkatabi yung sine cosine, pero dapat meron mo ng 2. So, kailangan maglagay muna tayo ng 2 dito bago natin gamitin yung identity na to. Okay? So, pag may 2 na to, maglalagay na tayo. Uh, babaguhin na natin, gagawin na natin siyang ganito. So, take note, sine, sine siya, palatandaan. Tapos, plus yung gitna. And then, ipagpa-plus natin yung angle nila. Then, minus yung isa. Okay? So, gawin natin. Lagyan muna natin to ng 2. So, magiging 1 half, maglalagay ng balancing factor, 2 sine 2x cosine 3x dx. So, ba't nagkaroon ng 1 half? Kasi merong 2 sa loob. Okay? Kung baga, naglagay muna tayo ng 2 over 2, tapos pinasok natin yung numerator na 2. Okay? And then, so pwede na natin siyang palitan, magiging ano na siya, 1 half integral of, okay, so sine siya pareho, pero pagpaplasin muna natin, sine plus yung angle, 2x plus 3x, that is 5x, plus sine minus naman, 2x minus 3x, negative x, dx. Okay, then distribute natin, magiging 1 half integral of sine 5x dx tapos etong sine negative x kung maalala nyo yung negative angle identity yung sine negative a that is the same as negative sine a so palitan na lang natin ng negative sine a para positive yung angle okay so gagawin natin siya minus 1 half integral of sine x Okay, para mas madali. Ginawa natin, uh, from sine negative A, ginawa natin negative sine A. Kaya naging minus. Okay. So next, uh, ano yung U dito? 5X. Derivative ng 5X, that is 5DX. Pero ang meron lang tayo DX, so dapat maglagay tayo ng 5 dito. So maglalagay tayo ng balancing factor. 5 over 5. Ipapasok natin yung 5 sa loob. Maiiwan yung 1 over 5. So magiging 1 over 5. 1 half, then integral of sine 5x, 5dx. Para maging sine u du. Okay, so hindi ko na pinakita yung u du. Kung baga, sinasanay na natin yung sarili, sarili natin na diretso. Okay? Then minus, alin yung u dito? x. Ano yung du? That is dx. So wala ng problema dito. Hindi na kailangan ng balancing factor na katulad nito. Okay? So 1 half, Integral of sin x dx. Okay? So, ano yung integral ng sin? That is negative cosine. No? So, 1 over 5 times 1 half, that is 1 over 10. Then, negative cosine 5x. No? Or negative cosine u. Minus 1 half, negative cosine x plus c. Okay? Or, this is negative 1 over 10 cosine 5x. Negative, negative, magiging positive. So, magiging plus 1 half cosine x plus c. Okay. 
for number 2, let's have 3 cosine 7x, cosine 9x dx. So, ito naman, magkadikit dalawang cosine. Cosine a, cosine b. Pero 2 dapat, hindi 3. So, maglalagay pa tayo ng 2 dyan, tapos ilalabas natin tong 3. Bago natin magamit yung formula. So, mapapansin nyo, cosine, cosine, tapos plus, tapos plus yung angle, minus yung angle. So, yun yung gagawin natin. Okay, so labas muna natin yung 3, tapos maglalagay tayo ng 2. So, magiging 3 over 2, integral of cosine, or uh, 2, cosine 7x, cosine 9x, dx. Okay, so naglagay ako ng balancing factor dito na 2 over 2. Pinasok ko yung 2, tapos yung 3 na nandito kanina, nilabas ko, kaya naging 3 over 2. So, saka natin i-convert siya, magiging 3 over 2, integral of okay cosine plus muna 7x plus 9x that is 16x then plus cosine 7x minus 9x that is negative 2x okay so bracket natin siya dx okay so ganun lang no plus yung angle ito yon minus yung angle ito yon Okay, next. So, ang gawin natin, i-distribute natin siya. So, 3 over 2 cosine 16x dx plus 3 over 2 integral of cosine. Palitan na natin to ng positive kasi nga negative angle identity cosine negative a equals cosine a. So, same lang yan. So, dito, kahit palitan natin ng cosine 2x para madali lang siya mamaya. Okay? Then next, unti-unti sinasanay na natin yung sarili natin na diretso no? Nang wala na yung u. Wala na substitute-substitute. So dito, alin ang u natin? 16x. Kapag kinuha natin yung derivative, 16dx. Okay, so imagine ninyo na lang, 16dx. Pero ang meron lang dito ay dx. So kailangan natin maglagay ng 16 so, para mag, makapaglagay tayo ng 16, maglalagay tayo sa labas, balancing factor. So, 1 over 16, tapos 3 over 2. Ito yon 3 over 2. Integral of cosine 16x, tapos 16 dx. Okay, so paano nagkaroon ng 16? Kasi nag-multiply tayo ng 16 over 16, tapos pinasok natin tong 16. Natira yung 1 over 16 sa labas. Okay? So, next, ito naman u natin 2x, kunin natin yung derivative 2dx, walang 2 dito, so maglagay tayo so plus 1 half tapos copy natin tong 3 over 2, then integral of cosine 2x 2dx okay so next i, an, i pag multiply natin to, so 3 over 32 then, cosine u du, so that will be sine, positive, no? Sine u, or ano yung u? 16x. Sine 16x. So next, plus 1 half times 3 over 2, that is 3 over 4. Then, cosine u du, that is sine then, sine 2x. Then, plus c. Okay, so ganun lang siya. For last number, find the integral of 2 third sine 4x sine 7x. So ito, magkadikit naman yung sine. So we have 2 sine a sine b. So dito may 2 third. Pag nilabas natin tong 3, yun nasa denominator, 1 third. May matitira ng 2. Okay, magagawa na natin to. Tapos, tandaan natin, cosine, cosine, pareho, pero minus na yung gitna, at nauna na yung difference. A minus B muna, bago A plus B. Okay? So, gawin natin yan. Ilabas natin yung 1 third, tapos iwan natin yung nasa numerator na 2, para maging 2 sine A, sine B. Okay? So, gamitin natin yung formula, so, magiging 1 third integral of minus muna cosine 4x minus 7x that is negative 3x minus 
cosine 4x plus 7x, 11x dx. Then, we have one-third integral of cosine, since cosine yan, that is equal to cosine 3x minus one-third integral of, ah, nakalimutan ko dx, cosine 11x dx. So, by the way, ah, take note, ah, kung nakalimutan nyo yung negative angle, nagpa-positive lang siya kapag cosine, same lang siya sa cosine a, tapos kapag second. Okay? So, the rest, halimbawa yung sine, magiging negative na siya. Okay? Magiging ganyan na. Pat pati yung natirang tatlo. Kay cosine tsaka kay second lang yung same sila. Cosine negative a, same sa cosine a. Okay? Okay, so balik tayo dito. So, dito naman, alin ang u natin dito? 3x, derivative ng 3x, that is 3dx. Kailangan natin ng 3 dito. So, maglalagay ulit sa labas. 1 third times 1 third integral of cosine 3x 3dx so cosine u du minus eto naman derivative ng 11x that is 11dx so kailangan naman ng 11 na ito so maglalagay ng 1 over 11 then 1 third kopyain lang to then integral of cosine 11x 11dx Okay, so let's have 1 over 9, integral ng cosine u that is sine, okay, sine u. So sine 3x minus 1 over 33 cos uh, sine 11x, no? Sine 11x, then plus c. Okay.